Well, howdy, folks. It's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, and today we're going to take a break from repairing and diagnosing cars, and we're going to put together this Peg Perego Polaris Sportsman Twin 850. Pretty cool ATV that Grandma and Papa sent for Christmas. It's a 24-volt ATV, from what I understand. If you want to get any bigger or better than this, you need to go to a gas-powered ATV. Uh, so it's pretty awesome. The only catch is you have to have a degree in knowing how to read hieroglyphics and also a degree in rocket science in order to put this thing together. It only comes with the wheels and the chassis and the body. Everything else is going to come in bags and parts and pieces. Uh, the main bag you're going to have is going to have all your fasteners in it. As you can see, my youngest here, uh, Nero, he's got the handlebars. You've got all the other plastic fittings and pieces and whatnot. So the first thing you really need to do is charge the battery. You need to charge it for 18 hours for the initial first charge. And then after that, I guess you're good to go. Then from there, identify these two pieces. There is no list that names what any of these pieces are. There's just pictures. So identify these two pieces. It'll have the name Polaris on it. And what they are, are the crankcase. And so that snaps in underneath here. Hey, hey Nero, can you hand me that light? Thanks, kiddo. All right, and so that crankcase snaps in underneath here. Now, when you unbox this ATV, it's not going to come with the suspension set up. The suspension is going to be laid down, so you're going to have to lift the body up off of the frame or the suspension, so to speak, in order to get this piece in here. And you're going to have to lift it up pretty tall. On top of that, it's plastic, so it may come to you warped. And so what we found out is that forcing it in here, you have some clips here. And then up front, you're going to have some clips right there. So you've got four clips, one on this side, one on the other side, front and back. And that this piece may be warped. It may not want to, uh, to be on here. or you know, it, it may not want to go on here. So there's no issue with forcing it into shape. That's what we did to get it to to snap on there now after that since you have your suspension in there you go ahead and open up your bag of fasteners and you start installing all of your plastic fasteners including your wheel caps and that's what your plastic fastener is going to look like so that's the step that we're up to we've got our crankcase installed we've got the suspension installed We've got the caps installed. Nero's ready to install something else here, man. <laughs> He's ready to get going. So let's see, let's see where we need to go next. After that, we got the seat installed. And I want to make a note, when you install the seat, again, these little ends that you see on the seat, ours were bent. So it's not going to hurt to bend them back or force them. And you're on this seat. We realize you really got to force those two little pieces in. So the step after installing the seat has you identifying this little plastic clip. If you cannot find it, it's probably because it's already been installed. Ours was already installed on the seat, so we're good there. Now, after that, I believe we're going to move to the front. Does that, Aiden, what? does that look like the front? Um, yeah, it actually does. Yeah, so we're going to move to the front, and you're going to look for this piece right here. Here you go, Aiden. Hold that piece and show it to the camera. So you're going to look for this piece right here. And it looks like that piece is just going to snap into the front there. So we're going to pause the video and get that installed and then explain to you how, how that installed. All right, guys. Okay, so this is kind of a fun thing to do, too. You want to help me? Yeah. All right, so you have these two spots here. 
And then we have these two spots here. I think go right there. Yeah, and so you have a clip here and here. Now the instructions, Nero, where are the instructions? Can you hand them to us, please? Yeah. Awesome, dude, thanks. Okay, so the instructions like tell you to do some type of weird, funky maneuver thing to get that in there. Don't pay attention to that. Stick these guys up right there and get just get one of them lined in and then don't worry about hurting anything punch that sucker in there you want to punch that in there Aiden yes yeah, basically push it in no right here just hit yeah. it like that hit it again there you go so see one of them went in and then same thing for this side now that's in so now we just want to get the top clips in and I bet you we're just gonna have to do the same thing Yep, look at that. So now it's installed. There we go. So now we got the front installed. So now we're gonna move to installing the. Uh, that, looks like, oh, that looks like that thing up front. Like the front grate. Yeah. 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 So now we're gonna move to installing the front grate. So we're gonna find and identify the front grate and the fasteners that we need, and then get that installed and show you how that works out as well. It's okay, like guys, so fine. Uh, now that we're getting into putting on these grates, it looks like the hieroglyphics have you going into your bag of fasteners. What is kind of cool here is they seem to have like a little cool little diagram. And you can just lay all your screws out and it even has a picture for what screws go to what part that we're putting on. So it looks like we're going to start off with these four screws. And you're just gonna lay this in there. You wanna hold that, Aiden? Yeah. And you've got one, two, three, four points. And then that just goes on top of there. You wanna stall it, Aiden? Yeah, just yep. goes on top. All right, man. Um, I think it has to go, no, no. Sorry. I think it has to go like, you just gotta um, line up the little pegs and holes. Yeah. There we go. There we go, now I just gotta screw it in. Yeah. Right? Yep. yep, now we just gotta screw them in. So we have to find out, so, so, which, so which are the right screws? I don't know. Well, the right screws, Aiden, are the ones here. And um, we ident you use the picture to identify it. And these are probably the right, and these are probably the size. Yep. And we're looking for. Oh, no, no, no. Are these? No, leave those there. They're good, kiddo. Mom's got it. Should we get like a screw gun or something? Or it's a drill? No, we're gonna tough it out. You don't need no drill. There could come a day when a drill will not be available. What would you do then? Just use just use like a <laughs> coin or something. Use a coin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can use coins as a screwdriver. <laughs> you can use a coin as a screwdriver. Alright, folks, for if you have no the need of saving it. video space, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here while we get this installed. All right. Now you might you may have to play with it a little bit, but once you get it all lined up, the screws go in there relatively so, so, easy. So is this one of the tight ones? The yep. One of ones? Nope. This one's loose here. Oh, uh, Tighten that one up. Mom, that that is a drop. Mom, there you go, kiddo. Here. Here. It's kind of like just getting off. Mm -hmm. Stick it in there. Here, grab my hand. Okay. And turn. How can you turn it so easily? And turn. We'll see. Just just follow my hand, man. Okay. And turn. And turn. See how that works? You want to try it one time? Uh huh. Alright, go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Good job, man. Nero, you want to do the other one? Yeah. All right. I'll do that two and that two. That one's that. already tight. Go ahead and tighten that one. Righty-tighty. Good job, dude. Oh, wow. It's already tight. Good job, man. There you go. All right, and so you've got those four screws. So now the next step 
would be to find the instruction booklet. Would be to find our instruction booklet. <laughs> the next step is to find our instruction booklet. <laughs> and we're on page two now. So now we're on page two. And we're still on the front, and we've got some part here that we need to try to identify. Figure out what that part is. So we're going to go ahead and identify that, and then we'll show it to you. Okay, so we identified what this little hieroglyph is. And that hieroglyph is a sticker. So we found out that when you pull the stickers out, they're labeled with numbers. And you have another cool hieroglyph, but this one's easier to read because it has nothing but numbers. And so that sticker is number four on the very front, and that's going to be on that front license plate, and that's going to be the word I can't pronounce, Peg per Perego sticker. It's, it's, it's in a different language. It's in a different language? Yeah. I think it's Italian, huh? Yep, so <laughs> Nero's going to peel that sticker off. You don't even know what Italian is. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. we got to do it carefully so we don't rip it. You know what you said? Huh? Just, you don't just even know a second. It's probably like Spanish or, it's probably like Spanish or French or something. That come out of the sticker. It's probably like Spanish or French or something. And then we're just going to stick that Spanish. sticker on there. I'm going to stick that sticker on there. Hey, if you want, you could probably... Clean that surface off with some alcohol if you want to get real particular about it or anything like that. Can I put the, can I put the sticker on? Oh no! I don't no. know where that sticker goes. Stick it back. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Nero is just ready to go, guys. All right, so now that we've got number 12 done, we got that sticker on. We have some type of fastener that we need to find and identify that goes in there. And I'm wondering if these are them right here. Those look like them. So I'm gonna identify where these fasteners go on the front there, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so these are the parts that go in there. They go right in here. And one side has a raised bump, so you specifically put that side in. Side. Yep, that's the right side. I thought that was the one with the bump. I thought that was the one with the bump. So Nero's gonna get that installed for us. It's like you have to push it in there. Push it in there. Then you can smack it. Can I try? Can I do it with the Alright. Okay, and so yeah, you gotta smack those in there. Now let's see what our next step is. Handlebar. <laughs> Nero really wants to install the handlebar. So, 14, we need to identify the front grill. And that looks like that's going to be this piece right here. Now, again, interesting. Ours. So, looking at this front piece, it's got that piece, and then it has this piece. For some reason, ours has already been installed and put together. So, yours may come that way as well, just in case that confuses you a little bit there. Okay, so here, you've got two points here, and then you've got... A point here a point here now this is gonna be a snap point this is gonna be a snap point these are gonna be snap points these are gonna be alignment points and then you've got these as well are gonna be alignment points into there so you guys want to help your mom and get that installed yeah, yeah. All right, carefully All right. Stuck together. I got it. Watch out. I don't want to smack your fingers. Installed! Wait. Never mind. <laughs> As you can see, just go ahead and smack that thing on there. 
just like smack This down. plastic's not gonna line up perfect, is it? Yeah, I don't think Is it's that good. side off in any way? Yep, there you go. Oh, no, it stops. Yep, so if it, so if it looks like it doesn't line up, just smack the heck out of it. Just smack. It'll snap all back together. All right, guys, let's go see what our next step is going to be. All right, so the next step in putting that front end together, you're going to go back to your screw diagram, and you're going to have these two screws that you're going to need to put in. Nero, you want to hold these screws for me? Yeah. And we need to find our screwdriver. Aiden, you want to grab our screwdriver? Uh, no, 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 no. Can I screw it in? All right, yeah. And then Nero, let's see. They're going to go right inside of here. You want me to get it started for you? Yeah. Right. Like out. Let's put it I in want, there. I want to screw them in. So is it good now? So is it? I'll give you the camera there. Oh, they get out. It's all way in the water. Oh, there you go. So you're going to have to kind of play with it a little bit. All right, kid, I'll get that started for you. All right. You gotta keep keep pressure on it. So push forward as you're turning. I don't think I'm aligned with it. Oh yeah, I am. Is that good? Keep going until it doesn't go anymore. Oh, it's starting to slow down. I think. Remember to push forward as you're turning. You need some help? Oh, oh, oh there oh. you go. Screwdriver may not be deep enough. Watch out. Oh, nope, it is off-centered, I think. All it's right, so let's pause it and see what happens here. All right, folks, so after you get that grill in, get everything screwed in, the next step, it points out here is chrome decals. I think it's supposed to go like that. We've got a sheet here that has the chrome decals on there. Just need to match them up. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty snazzy, huh? Find a light real quick. Yeah. That's a mirror. Oh. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, it's pretty much like a mirror. <laughs> that makes it look really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 All right. And hope to we'll save video space. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it, and we'll go from there, folks. All right. And then once you got those stickers on, go ahead and put your little plastic clear covers. Push those in there. You know, when you're putting this thing together, it doesn't seem to matter whether you force it on or not. It's not going to break. Everything we've had to put together, we've just we've had to force on. So I don't think you're going to hurt this at all, putting it together. All right, so we've got all that on. Now we've got other chrome decals to install. We need to identify where on the little ATV to do that at. And then some fasteners and other small parts. So we'll just go through here and identify each part and show you how we snap them all on. All right, so moving to the back now, you do the same thing, put the chrome decal, find your cool brake light cover, and just snap that right in. Next, we're gonna go to this back grate grill cover, and it actually has you putting it together outside or off of the ATV first. So you're gonna identify these two parts here. And you're gonna identify this part here. And then that's all gonna to snap together on this part over here. So these guys, they believe we're gonna go in here and they're gonna be screwed in. You can see a screw hole right there. 
and one there. So they're going to go in like that. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be screwed in. And then we'll put all that piece back together. I want to uh, just make a note right here. If I run out of video space and need to make a part two on this video, I will. So I do apologize in advance that this video suddenly cuts off. But if it does, look for part two. Okay, so before you screw this in, it has you go ahead and install everything. And it specifically shows in the hieroglyph it laying down. And I noticed these. And I noticed that these change a little bit when you have it laying down. Plus, I think I have it facing the wrong way, so we're gonna change that whole thing up here. Yep, I did. So I had it facing the wrong way. <laughs> That's why I have my awesome wife. I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. And so there you go. So put the whole thing together, make sure it's facing it, it's facing down, and then install your screws on the bottom. So there you go. That's what it looks like with the screws installed. And then bam. That's pretty cool. Just wanna stop for a second, say hi to my daughter Addison. She woke up and joined us. She's gonna help us finish the build. Woohoo! So now we have Addison, Aiden, and Nero had to go potty. So Looks like the next step in this process is to go ahead and get this railing installed and it just pretty much just clips in there. And you're good to go. And then there's two screws under here. And then you got two screws underneath. So we're going to get those installed next. That's going to be these two guys per your hieroglyph right there. Alrighty folks and there you go. That's what it looks like once you're finished with that project. And then the next step is going to be getting it on. And it looks like you're going to go back to your hieroglyphic chart. And you've got these four screws. You're going to go one, two, three, and four. Hieroglyph. My kids are trying to say hieroglyph like ten times over again. Here, Addison. You want to put that on right there? steps are how many more steps are there about 40 there's about 40 more steps left you know what son that's a good point at this point guys you still got 40 more steps left before you're done putting this thing together so <laughs> my kid O'Neill wants to put the handlebar on so bad well, it looks like my fourth kiddo Rainer is finally awake and it looks like he's going to join us also. All right, so next, you're going to get the gas cap on. And then, per your hieroglyphic chart over here, it's time to assemble the steering column. So you, we're going to identify all the parts and pieces to putting that together and totally get that together. And my fourth kiddo, Rainer, finally joined us. He just woke up. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> So, we're going to go ahead and get this steering column assembled, and we'll be right back to show you that here in just a minute. Alright, so, we are getting the steering column together. It's pretty dummy proof. It goes together one way. That goes on the bottom. If you ever worked on a steering column on a car, and you know how the top and bottom plastic pieces are, it pretty much works the same way. And then you just need to line everything up. And smash it all together. Rainer's gonna get in here and help. Why can't I help? I got in here. And once again, it looks like you just kind of got to wrestle with it, smash it all together. All right. So once you have this together, there's no snaps in the front, but your next step is gonna be to put the chrome decal in there so you may want to have somebody hold that front part together while you lay that decal in all right and there you go that's what that looks like once you got it all together and again you're gonna to have to smack and slap this plastic piece together and you know I don't think it's gonna be just perfect.
but it looks good. It really does look good. All right, so what's our next step now? Some circular thing. Okay, so we have another hieroglyph, and we need to identify that part. I bet you that part is this part right here. Yep, that looks like it. All right, so now that you got all this together, you can identify this part, lay that in there, and then you've got stickers. What number is that? Nine. Sticker number nine. Sticker number nine is going to go in there, and then you're going to lay this plastic cover, and then you're going to have one little teeny tiny screw that has no identification to it whatsoever as to where it goes. That's going to be this screw, and that's going to go right in here. So this goes together like that, and that goes down like that, and that goes together like that. All right, and so that little screw is so weird because it is purposely at an angle. So if you think it's it's not lining up correctly because you look down in that hole and you don't see it lined up, then don't worry. It's actually supposed to be at a weird angle when it goes in there. So, all right, what's our next step now at this point? We need to figure out what this is. We need to figure out what this hieroglyph is. And we need to get that installed. So let's see if we can identify that part. Okay, so we identified those parts as the handlebar covers. And going back to your screw diagram, right here, you've got your two screws that go in right here. So at that point, this is what your handlebars look like. And then the next step is to slide on the rubber for your handlebars. Nero and Aiden are going to do that for us. And then push it all the way down. Push it all the way down, Nero. You smack it. No, that isn't really working. That's making like weird noises. Good job. Aiden, you, you want to help your brother? Yeah, sure. Alright, so you're supposed to. He said yes. Alright. Mira, can you get your hand Watch on your the fingers? Way? He said yes. There you go. Just kind of push that down there. Okay, Nero has been wanting to install these handlebars. And you just line it up there. And there's a little tab right there. Uh, I'm guessing. Yay. Can I go now? Can I go now? And there you go. It's installed. Just go ahead and install it until you feel that tab click in and you're in good shape. All right, guys. So the only thing left now after installing those handlebars looks like we're done. We're down to it. And uh, the only thing left is to get your battery and install the battery and then install all the stickers. Yeah. So in order to install the battery, you unlock your seat and then lift your seat up and the battery goes right in here. So we'll show you that next. Oh, can I put this in? Yes, you can totally put that in, man. This is a pretty neat, neat little, little toy here. That's all right, folks, and that's what the battery looks like, huh, guys? Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. That's what the battery looks like and that's how it's connected. And it looks like you just then just put your seat back down. It's the size of a car battery. And lock it into place. Wait, 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 kiddo. And then we should be good to go. All right, folks. So we have finished the Peg Perego Polaris 850 ATV. Okay, Nero. And here we go. Nero, don't go on the street. There you go. Oh, there you go. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. There we go. There you go. Turn. There you go. Go. Turn so you don't hit that car. Oh, oh, turn it, turn it. Keep turning it. You're good. Go. Go. All right. Someone want to jump on the back? All right. Oh, well. All right, all right. Stop, stop. All right, now as reverse. There you go. 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 No, 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 no. No, no. This way. There you go. Okay, go. Go, kiddo. Go. Go. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.
<laughs> Go backwards. Push the pedal. Go, push the pedal. <laughs> that thing jumped those rocks. That was pretty awesome. All right, turn it, kiddo. <laughs> All right. Put in defense mode. Yeah. All right. It looks like second gear is fast mode. Wow, stop. Okay, so fast mode is pretty awesome. Fast mode. Hey, and stay out from in front of it. I just had to not get run over. All right, folks. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. I just want to wish everybody a happy New Year's. Thanks for supporting me and my family. Thanks for watching my videos. There's going to be a ton of new car repair videos coming up this year and hopefully some new things going on. So just wanted to share a pretty awesome video and show you how to put one of these, th one of these things together. Once again, thanks for your support. We are signing off.